So templating allows you to create uh, generic uh, dashboards that you can reuse for different servers uh, and applications or for different scenarios, basically. You can keep, if, if, this, if the query is the same, you just want to change a part of the query, you can create uh, a template variable uh, and put the template variable in the place of that, so the, the part of the query you want to change. So in this case, we have um, a simple, uh, simple graph. Uh, and let's say we have uh, a host name, a uh, group of host names. So we have a number of servers, but um, maybe we don't want all the servers here. We just maybe want to look at one server, but we don't want to have, so maybe we have a filter here called uh, so host name server one, but we don't want to have create this dashboard for each server. So we want to easily look at this, uh, uh, let's say t title this graph server one. We want to have, we want to reuse this uh, graph for multiple servers. And what we can do now is go to templating under settings uh, menu, templating and create a new variable called hostname and of the type query and we pick our elastic metrics data source and we want to update this variable whenever we change the time range and now you can jump to the sort of documentations for on grafana.org so this is uh, the documentation on grafana.org data sources elastic search and in the templating section of this uh, documentation uh, article you can see all the possible uh, templating queries you can do. So let's pick uh, the terms uh, query, which will uh, query Elasticsearch uh, using a terms query and get all the values for host name. And now we can see a preview here that we will we are getting all the possible uh, values for the host name field. And let's add that. And we should now see that we have a variable here called host name. Um, instead of hard coding this filter to only filter so to only sort of specify server one, we can instead use server. Well, we can instead use our our hostname variable, and uh, we can, in general, instead of sort of hard coding the title, we can use our hostname variable here instead, and now. We have a completely reusable graph uh, where we can sort of say, I want to look at server one and the title updates, the legend updates, uh, and we can sort of very easily change and reuse this, uh, this graph for multiple sort of servers. Another option you can specify in templating is to enable multi selection and all value. And in this case, you can actually sort of then specify, uh, I want to compare server one against server two. And in this case, you will get both servers. Or I want to compare uh, these three, four servers. So this is very, very powerful feature in Grafana that allows you to sort of create generic dashboards. Uh, there are other types of uh, uh, templating queries. Uh, what another thing you can do is also uh, let's create a, a soar. There is another property in our Elastic Metrics documents called source. Uh, and uh, you can uh, specify elastic metrics here uh, on dashboard change. And let's uh, copy this uh, this query. And instead of getting the uh, source, we can uh, we want all the options, all the values for the source variable. And let's put this variable at the top, so it's the first one. Uh, and then what we can do uh, for the host name. Uh, variable, we can actually specify a query filter here. So we only want the host names where, and this is uh, where we can specify a Lucene query. So we only want the host names where source is equal to our source variable. And uh, so we can actually nest and use a query, uh, a template variable in the query definitions for another template variable, which is really powerful. Uh, and um, just to make this easier, I will deselect the multi-value uh, and uh, show you this now. So if I switch the site, uh, 
the site source uh, has documents containing all these uh, servers, but if I change to backend, uh, it's, a, it's another set of servers here that I can choose from. So basically this uh, selection will trigger an update in the, uh, the host name variable. So you can actually nest uh, many different variables together to, to allow you to filter and drill down uh, your metric sort of namespace or metric tag space, whatever you whatever you have in your documents. Uh, there are a th there is a third type of template uh, query that allows you to uh, to pick uh, the data source uh, no the, the fields in your documents. So you can pr specify a query like this um, and. Uh, this will return, uh, let's see, I pasted that wrong, like this. And this will return all the fields in, in the elastic index with the type string. So we have a host name, we have a metric, and we have a source property in this document. And this allows me to sort of use that variable uh, in the metric query. Uh, I can sort of specify a group by, instead of specifying hard code the group by to host name, I can say I want to I want to group by um, I want to group by this variable instead. So uh, in this case, I can sort of change I want to group by source instead, or I want to group by host name. So that so it's another way we can you can create generic uh, uh, a generic query and generic dashboard. Uh, 